Hi everyone, my name is Chloe Weber. I'm a transportation design engineer from the Burnsville office. One of my favorite facts is that the city of Carmel, Indiana has replaced all of their intersections with roundabouts. So there's no signalized intersections in the city. There are over 140 roundabouts and counting. They estimate that each roundabout saves about 22,000 gallons of gas every year. This also brings their average traffic fatality rate down to about a tenth of the national average. Safe driving is obviously important, but what are some ways that the infrastructure itself can improve traffic safety? Well, I would say that there are different ways that the actual physical infrastructure could be improved, such as different traffic bump outs or widening in intersections themselves in order to make traffic flow better. And then probably there's some actual technological ways, I would imagine. Katie, spot on. <laughs> as far as pedestrian safety goes with roundabouts, it's a lot safer that they only have to cross one direction of traffic at a time, which is really nice and there's less decisions to make and less places to look. Traffic safety impacts everyone. How do you bridge the gap between technical and non-technical participants to ensure everyone's on the same page? This is super important to us because we want to connect with our clients and the public to make sure everyone is on the same page and has a voice in deciding on what the best treatment for the situation is and how to solve the problem. Um, a lot of times we do this by showing our traffic models or working with our graphics and design group to show 3D animations of what the roadway might look like if it was changed or um, we implemented a different strategy. What are important factors that need to be considered when analyzing a new roadway or intersection? This is fun. So the traffic studies that we do a lot of times we'll look at a bunch of different things that kind of go into what makes the problem a problem. So we look at crash history and we compare what's going on in that roadway or that intersection with other intersections um, around the state and we can kind of see how bad just that area is and how many um, accidents and how severe the accidents are. We also look at things like our traffic models and we'll take traffic counts to get some real-time data and show what the existing volumes in the area would look like with a different intersection or roadway improvement, such as a roundabout, a DDI, um, an R-cut intersection, a road diet, etc. A DDI is a diverging diamond intersection. It's the one that everyone kind of hates. <laughs> Explain what rendering is with regards to digital animation. Oh, okay, not a traffic question. <laughs> it's basically putting all these tiny little clips, like 2D image, it's clipped together with a bunch of other 2D images to kind of make a video in the end. That's my best guess. Speaking as a professional, she's actually really close on what rendering is. And that's the fact.